Hey guys and welcome back to a brand new video and in this video I have took a trip down to the Preston I know I put the pole out and um, Lancaster was winning but with all the train tries and things I never wanted to risk it but that will be my next trip so let's have a little wander around Preston and see what's going on it is quite a big train station Preston we got the station club with all the national flags out just at the side of Preston train station one thing what I do like about Preston town centre is the trees thank you it's the trees what you got planted down the main stretch you got like all different types of shops in the town centre just like any town you go to you got like your betting shops, you got like your Greggs, your Pound Bakery, Primark, your mobile contract shops, and just some bits and pieces like that. You even got some fast food places. And you got like the cool side roads. And as you can tell, it is on a bit up on a hill, so you can see the top of the houses. And if you just walk a street away from the town centre, there are also a nice little greenery with fences and stuff. It's always nice to capture your thoughts, definitely on a nice sunny day like it is today. Just on Fistergate Lane in Preston Town, and as you can tell, the industrial one of these nicely opened up in Blackpool. Also, it's based in Preston. Now, this is a shop you don't see in Blackpool a Rolex. It's a bit of a quiet one in the town centre so far, but I, I assume you'll get a bit more busier a bit later on in the morning. Yeah, a bit of a strange one then leaving these on the side it looked like a bit of the concrete I've came up but I will thought they would have sanded them up and make it a square one beyond got a broken window but bet you this is like our pound shop we got in Blackpool We have got a hot potato. The spud people might know this tram better as the spud bros. Then it's quite big on TikTok. I have been down here before and tried it. I'll put a link to that video down below and at the end of this one. We even got the Preston Council out making the town look all neat and tidy before the rush hours. The library is getting a bit of work done. The library slash museum is going to be reopened in 2025. So I wonder what type of work they're getting done. We also got the Preston Crown Court. One up two anyway. I remember when I was um, a little nipper. You never have the posh little units what they got here now. Even the outdoor market and space have even got a nice little re ramp. They've been at that for three years now. And just over there, they have a car boots twice a week, I remember correctly. And it looked like my luck is in. It looked like it car boot day today. I do like a good old card boot. See what deals and stuff you can find. Before they put the ballards there, I remember the buses coming down this route. They all seem to be blocked up. And it ain't the car boot today. 
it does like market stall so I'm a bit gutted with that we got a bit of work happening over there but I'll go into a bit more detail about that building over there a bit later on in the video this used to be an old burning bargains it looked like it gone now and the unit is up for that it is quite a big storage unit like a shop unit wonder what would it take it place and here is Preston bus station Then I've done lots of re-ramp with the bus station over the years and all the buses to park round one side now Preston got a new Gamer X and that used to be a shoe shop used to be quite a popular one as well with all the school shoes and stuff you still got Iceland in there and an other shop, a homeware store. Never knew all that big. Got a broken window just at the side. This building used to be an indoor market and used to have a pet shop just on the ground floor, which I remember getting my first um, <laughs> hamster. Sorry, we got our old subway here, look like nothing happening. And those bees look like we got a block from window. We got a bit more work happening just over there. Just making my way up at the side of Weatherspoons now. Just to have a little gang up here and see what the other side of town I've got to offer very rare sighting a bookseller shop nice bit of artwork on the wall As you could tell, no one's pulling the seat over the top. And here we have the six and giggles. Music and bar food. Walking past the office outlet, and it's such a shame to see a nice big building just being left. <laughs> Abandoned, in other words you got cabritis all over the wall you look like they're putting some fresh chipboard up but it's just sad to see and it's happening all over the united kingdom no matter what town or city you go to you see this everywhere a bit more often than usual but yeah it's sad to see and as you can tell we've got two tents here then using trolleys as to put the clothing in it's so sad to see in this day and age wonder what happened here at yogium it looked like they got a broken window it's been still in business so this other shot was sadly going right then guys if you did enjoy that bit of a video then please give it a big thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this one and hit the subscribe button and you don't want to miss any upcoming videos and please turn on the notification bell I'll see you on the next one just got a train pulling into the station now is this the one what I need and yes it is Blackpool North